Enrico got his duck. It has some mashed potatoes, no? Salad. He ordered a salad there too. The bottles are very interesting. The bottle of even that the olive oil has a, a Japanese traditional lady there. Now this is pappardelle con um, cervo. Okay, so that's a kind of pasta with the uh, deer meat. I'm impressed with this lipstick because it's still on after eating and stuff, but it lasts longer than other lipsticks. I was speaking about the, the way you present food and, the, and, and where you go to eat the food. I think even the presentation has its value, you know? If you eat the same food but without a white table, without a good glass, without a good environment, without a fire, I think it, it means something, you know? And uh, it was a way of speaking between me and Nito in the last few years because uh, you know, she said to me, no, Enrico, look, what it what it counts is only the food. You can even the you you, you can even eat a, a good food in the storage, let's say, of course. But I said, look, in Italy, in Italy, not because in Italy is better than Canada or what, but look, even a good table, a good place, a good fire, a good environment it makes the food better. You feel better. So. You know, I am affectionate to beauty. Beauty, not only in the sense of the taste of the food, beauty in the general sense. And then on that note, I would like to say that me being someone who likes to travel and likes to eat at a lot of different kinds of places, for me, the most important thing is the food. And I've had like, I've been to like the ugliest, dirtiest places, but had like really, good food there, the best food ever there. Sometimes, in some countries, the, the worst place, like hole in the wall that you would never think to go, often has like the best food that you, you'll ever find in that, in that country. And um, so for me, it's, it's different than for Enrico in that sense, where he has more of an Italian mentality. And I think I have, I don't know, I'm different though. I'm quite, I'm pretty ghetto. I'm from Jaden Finch originally, uh, which is the the most supposedly the most ghetto place in Toronto. I don't know if it is true. But what I was trying to say, even if I have not a perfect English, is that we tap parity of food is better the place in which you feel better to eat, in which you like more, you know. For example, I ate a very good uh, Chinese food, very, very good Chinese food, in a small restaurant in the middle of a lot of cows, in the middle of a lot of waiters running, a lot of people yelling. For me, the food remains great, but for me, it's not the best place to eat that great food. If you bring that great food and you prepare, you prepare a great place, you will enjoy more the great food. That is what I am trying to say. The experience that you have in a restaurant is also important. So not only the quality, this is beautiful. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, this is beautiful and the food arrived. This is um, one of the desserts. We went a little crazy. This is ma uh, mascarpone cheese stock sauce on this folia, or it's a kind of, you know, what do you call it? It's not a pasta. You guys, I'm forgetting English living here. And um, raspberries. How is it, Enrico? Super good. This is a sorbetto, which is a sorbet. It's a drink. I came with the cookies, and this is the other dessert we ordered. I think it's a bit of ice cream and a chocolate cake, but it has the liquid center. I'm not, like, I don't know anyone in this restaurant. I'm, I'm paying, like, a normal customer here, but I just want to say that this is my favorite restaurant. <laughs> and <laughs> if you're going to come, 
to this part of Italy and you, you only want to eat in one place, I would be like, eat here. This is the place to, to come to. Um, especially, you should um, eat the agnolotti. My favorite thing here, anyway, is the agnolotti dopka tartufata. Or tartufata. The mascarpone and raspberry is really good. I'm going to try this now. Here's a present from the restaurant. For Valentine's Day though. And I'm gonna try this now. The sorbetto you can get in all the restaurants, eh? Not even the sorbetto, as you know very well, keeps some attention. Not every sorbetto is the same. No, they're all different. A good one is a good one, and it's a digestive. It has usually vodka in it as well, but just a little amount, and it helps you digest, and I really think it works. I feel like this video has gone pretty long now, and so I'm just gonna stop right now. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe, and just thank you so much. Bye. Freya? <laughs> What are you doing? This is our storage thing, I and mean, we have the laundry here, so I just did this laundry. Freya! Uh-oh, now she's never gonna get out. Well, she will. This is February 15, and I found the first bloom. This is a little violet here. Yeah, it's a little vi violet. Flower. There are always daisies though. These never went away this year though. There were always daisies on the grass. But today you can really hear the birds. So Freya went out again. <laughs> 